welcome back to my channel it's your girl Melissa back with yet another video no I know it took me a little time to post this video my sister had her wedding this weekend so it was been kind of crazy kind of busy lots of family it was awesome so now we're getting back to work back to business um, to get this next video out and rolling so here we go so this very last home that I was in before I got adopted um, wasn't actually too bad so I ended up going to this next foster home this was May 26 we went to I went to Detroit going to um, my sister's foster home I requested to be together and they celebrated my birthday and they combined it with Lori's which was so awesome um, and they uh, let me you know she shared her presents with me and we had cake and you know and all those fun things I got to meet all the family and it was super fun um, I really did like this family they were really good to us I know there was like little things here and there that were a little bit hard but like overall it wasn't too bad of a home um, with this home that the all the good things um, for one they really let um, us be us you know like I was into singing I was into dancing I was into like gymnastics different things like that so they would like let us you know do those things so um, I would sing all the time they would take us you know to I could sing here if I wanted to I, I went and sang you know on a stage I did went into like a little studio I was just messing around just to kind of get a feel for it, it was kind of fun um, I danced all the time we had like little parties and I would dance all the parties and everything and it was just such a blast I um, also like for like gymnastics like I didn't know how to do like a cartwheel and all that stuff so when my foster dad actually taught me how and he spent hours in the front yard you know helping me do flips and different things like that to learn how to do them which I can still do them to this day so thanks to you for teaching me that um, so they really invested in us and in our and what we liked and which was such a such a difference you know um, than what was happening in the previous homes which I'll get into that probably in my next video um, so there's that um, they were just very kind uh, we had foster siblings as well so we uh, got along pretty well with them I mean of course we had little issues here and there you know we are two different bunch of different kids in, in the same home so we did have butt heads a little bit but we got along pretty well um, yeah so they were just very good they're pretty good to us you know and we I still see them to this day we and we go and they hang out they've met my son um, so they're pretty they're really good people um, the only bad things that I remember really happening were outside of the homes so I remember like I went to like the daycare which um, they were friends with the daycare owner so um, and we were friends with them as well like she's such a sweet lady still like her to this day we see her and stuff like that so we go to this daycare at like four or five maybe like six o'clock in the morning during the school days and we'd like sleep or we'd watch like music videos or we would like um just kind of you know just hang until it's time to go to school and then she would take us to school um but i remember like getting into a fight with like the daycare worker like i don't know what it was i mean okay let's be real okay let's be real I was a smart aleck. I would just say whatever I wanted to say and I was always making jokes and everyone else would be laughing when like the person didn't think it was funny. So it just kind of got like really messy. Like that's just kind of how it was. I would just like, I had a big mouth, you know, <laughs> what's new? <laughs> what's new? Um, I was very sassy so I'm sure I said something that got me in trouble. So at this time, we get into a physical altercation as well as verbal, and it is getting very messy very quickly. Like I'm just trying, you know, trying to be all like I'm a boss. Of <laughs> That's crazy. And so I'm like, I'm going up the stairs, and the daycare worker grabs me by my ponytail and she yanks me down the stairs yanks me down the stairs like down the flight of stairs like the full length down the stairs and i was just yelling at her i'm like you only pull me by my hair because you ain't got no hair and like mm, being a smart mouth but uh so i remember that happening and i was just like you know i i told you know my the foster parents at the time like this happened they don't think they really believe me you know because like i lied a lot as a kid like i think all kids do at some point they like lie um but i lied a lot like i would just always be like it would be like unnecessary you know like they'd be like oh did you eat this i'd just be like no 
like there's like nothing wrong with eating something but I obviously had a problem with it so I'd be like no I didn't do that um so I kind of get why they didn't believe me but yeah so that had happened I remember being in class um, I hated this school and the teachers didn't like me and I remember there was one particular teacher that hated my guts and the whole class was crazy it wasn't just me there was kids spinning on the floor running in the closet standing on desks breakdancing middle school rapping doing different stuff you know I was like a little bit like like I said I was very sassy so like and I was funny so like I'd always just be like making people laugh and stuff like that at the wrong times and but I remember this one day being like okay I'm gonna see if she really just doesn't like me or if like you know maybe like I'm just being too bad to where like you know she didn't want to like give me nothing you know because you used to get candy at the end of the class every day so I, I made sure I made sure that I was good the whole class I was good the whole class we get in line to get the candy Hey, well, she get a candy, they get a candy, he get a candy. Come up there, and I go to get a candy. She's like, you ain't get no candy. She says, you were bad the whole class. And I'm just like, oh! And I'm just like, eh! Mm, 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 no. No, she hated me. She didn't like me. It's cool, though. No, no worries here. Didn't lose any sleep. But I did know that she didn't like me, which was okay, because it was kind of mutual. Now, um... The other class I remember is um, my English class and I remember me and Lori had gotten in a fight in the bathroom like we were messing around and stuff like that and it just escalated so I jokingly was like messing with her and like I think I kicked the door in on her in the bathroom when she's like sitting on the toilet and you know when you're a little kid like that's super embarrassing and um, so she got really mad and whatever and she started swinging and then I like pushed her and she fell into like the little heater for the bathroom and she had like burned a little like a little burn on her arm or something like that and so the teacher knew about that so she was like um kind of didn't she was kind of mad at me after that like you know whatever so when i needed to go to gym class i needed to see my sister to get my uh shoes from her because i had forgotten mine at home so i was using her shoes and the teacher was just like i don't know why you'd want to even I'll let her borrow your shoes you know she's awful to you you know she's a horrible sister you shouldn't give her anything and of course Lori being loyal Yes, she was just like, you know, that's my sister, and I don't care what she did. Da 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 da. da. I don't care that we fought. Your sisters fight. Da 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 da. da. It's over and done with. Like you know, pretty much, kind of put her in her place. You know, good old fashioned nine year old Lori. She was such a savage. Um, you know, we always had each other's backs. You know, like at that time, like they would pick on Lori. They had this kid up pick on Lori, and I'd beat their butt in the parking lot. Like I was hood. You know, I was a little hood little girl. Like I. I you know I took care of myself and you know big growing up in these foster homes like you had to really defend yourself and you had to take care of yourself and your heart and your feelings and and everything so like people pick on Lori I beat their butt you know what I'm saying like I was the nicest kid so I wasn't really a mean kid um but like you know you pick on me you pick on my sister you pick you know it's my family I would knock your butt out I would knock you out I was hood so um that's a couple things that happened in the home now we didn't get adopted in the home because I think it was gonna to be too much, you know, and I think at that point, hair keeps falling. At that point, like, um, I don't think, I guess like Lori wasn't really wanting to do it anymore. I wish she'd maybe have an outburst and they didn't really kind of realize that, you know, it just wasn't gonna be the right fit. Um, so I remember the day that they told us and we had to sit down at the table and they pretty much were like, you know, um, you guys aren't gonna be getting adopted by these people, by you know, the current foster home not gonna be adopted you know so i just want to let you guys know that and yada 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 and i just remember like my eyes kind of filling with tears and i was like literally trying to just be like it's cool you know i was just trying to be cool and like i remember just fighting back the tears because i really liked them and i felt like you know it was just like another rejection that was like just kind of like tagging along on my little my little kid heart you know and like so it just really closed me off to like everybody like i always felt like i had to i had to hide on my emotions and like I wouldn't let anybody hurt me no more and so like at that point I was just like I completely shut down like we were so I was still loved them and stuff like that but like I completely shut down after that like that was like the last I was like you know this is the last time that someone's gonna hurt me like this and um so we ended up like leaving that home um but they kept in contact and you know okay we'd see them every once in a while so that was a good thing 
um so yeah those that's the story of my last foster home um i know that was kind of quick i'm trying not to drag them out too long i tried to shorten it up for you guys um i do have some interesting videos that are going to be coming up soon um one is going to be kind of like um attention to all foster families like people that want to foster just some th a couple things that to keep in mind um being foster parents some things that you need to be you need to know about coming from a foster child's perspective um i also will be going and sharing my foster file letting you know kind of what they put in my file and what they do what they do with the foster kids file um just to kind of get an idea of what that's like on my end now if you would like any videos in particular or if you guys have any questions foster parents foster children um, anybody who just curious, curious about me go ahead and comment in my comments down below I always comment back um, so if you want to go ahead and drop a comment I will answer um, all my videos will be linked in the description below and then you can get kind of updated on the videos that I have been doing previously alrighty so that's all we have for today thank you for watching love you guys Bye.